Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of slope as unit rate. This is standard 8.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 39 of the 2022 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a student that is traveling 68 miles in 136 minutes. So which graph has a slope that best represents this rate? All right, so we've got in each of these graphs, we've got the y axis is going to be your miles. And it looks like your x axis is going to be your minutes. Every once in a while, you'll see a problem like this where they actually flip the axes and they'll They'll put minutes on the Y and miles on the X for half of them and then flip it for the other half. So I always got to watch to make sure they're all labeled the same. So we simply need to find the unit rate. And that's all we have is 68 miles. 68 miles in 136 minutes. All right, so if we were to get it down to a unit rate, how many miles... How many minutes does it take for one mile, right? Well, if we see the 68 miles in 136 minutes, all you need to do is kind of flip it a little bit, rotate it there. Let's rotate it, and you're going to see 68 miles in 136 minutes. If we were to view this as a fraction, that can help us get a unit rate. So let's view that as a fraction and see if we can bring it down to size. Let's see if we can do a little bit of simplifying here. So they're both even, all right? So that's going to be 34 over, what is that? It's going to be 34 over 68. Oh, that's looking like it's going to be half. Right, so let's see if we can take it in half again. Yeah, 17 over 34. Yep, yeah, that definitely is going to be one half. All right, so we've got one mile for every two minutes. All right, so that's going to be our unit rate. So if we really wanted to look at it as a decimal form, right? One half, that's equal 0 0.5. But I'm going to keep it like this fraction right here because we can now plot this. Take a look. We've got our minutes on our x-axis and our miles are on our y-axis. So that's going to be our first point. We're not going to find a point where we've got an x of 68 and a y of 34 or an x of 136 and a y of 68. We could, these graphs just aren't large enough. So uh, we could do this right here and we can find a point of two minutes x to one mile y. And then if we wanted to use that rate, right, we could double that. We could say four minutes x to two miles uh, distance in the y and so on and so forth. So let's take a look here. And it looks like a has got that flipped. We've got one minute for every two miles and you see it's two minutes for every one mile. So that's why we have to get down to that unit rate. A looks pretty good except for the fact that they actually inverted it. So that is not going to be it. So I'll question mark that. B is wonky. First off, it's not proportional. It needs to go down through the origin, and it's looking like it's one mile per minute. It looks like it's pretty, a uh, pretty standard slope there. Not what we're needing. Definitely. No. Let's look at C. C looks like it does start from the origin. There we go. I've got an x of two minutes for every one mile on the y. And if I wanted to look at that, I've got that four two, just like I was looking for. And then D is just a straight line. There is no slope. All right, so my answer here is C.